Now it's time for a little bit of a wow factor for our final and most compelling example of how important it is to understand when you're in a bull market or a bear market by using technicals that is a structured rule to let you know we'll look at the famous back test the capital market laboratories published for the spy it's a four-legged custom strategy which is created by clicking the custom strategy button it has four legs and we won't go over it now but suffice it to say we have a full dossier which walks this trade step by step so that every single leg makes sense and this trade does have limited risk it's totally a cover trade what we showed was this incredible trade over 10 years that had an 880% return with 113 wins and 11 losses. What could be more fantastic? Well, here's the problem. Over the last year, this trade has started to fall apart. And if we go to the last year, this is for all of 2018, this trade is negative 97%. The problem with this trade is not the construct. The problem with this trade, it was unable to identify when the market had turned bearish. In fact, even if we looked over the last two years now, given how bad 2018 was, this trade is still vastly negative, even though it has 22 wins and three losses. Here's where the wow factor comes in. We're going to go down to the technical open. We're going to try to set a safety valve again. This time we're going to make sure we only do this trade if the stock price, that is the SPY, is above its 50-day moving average. We also want the 50-day moving average to be above the 200-day moving average. These two requirements show us that the SPY is at the very least not in a downtrend. But we also want to make sure that the market isn't overbought. And we're going to do that simply by saying the 10-day moving average is below the 21-day moving average. So you can think of these first two requirements telling us we're not in a bear market, and this last requirement making sure we're not overbought. And now, look at the results. We see an enormous loser turning into a winner with an 80% win rate. That's the power of using technical analysis to identify the times when we want to trade and we don't want to trade. We can now look over the last year. All of a sudden we have a trade that has only triggered three times, but it's won all three times and returned 45%. And here are two more cases of proof that it works. If we go to the last six months of 2018, we will see a message which tells us the strategy did not result in any trades being placed. Exactly. We wouldn't want to do this trade in a bear market. Now let's look over the last 10 years. Here's a trade over 10 years that has 28 wins and 3 losses for a 363% return. Keep in mind, each of these trades is just one month. That's 31 trades yielding 363%. That's 31 months with more than 10% returns. Avoiding a bear market, getting in when it's a bull market, and avoiding an overbought market.